Hey everyone, welcome to another day of Halloween. Today we're going to work on another magical ingredient bottle. I've made these before, years ago, and you always see them in the, my background. Here's one. Uh, here's another. But I'm going to make this one special. It's going to look like it's floating on its own and being poured out. I was originally going to just do a centerpiece and just have the bottles that I made already just kind of like around a cauldron. But then I got the idea to have one of the bottles floating and pouring into the cauldron. I've seen a similar thing done with a wine bottle being poured into like a wine glass and I always thought it would lend itself really well to a Halloween piece. So let's get started. First I bent a thin flat piece of metal at the bottom about an inch. I bent it slightly making a gentle curve and finally bent it another inch-ish at the top. It kind of looks like the handle of a ladle or something. I'm using this piece of metal because I had it laying around for whatever reason, but you could also use like thick gauge wire. I've seen people do it with like two or three pieces of wire, as long as it's strong enough to hold itself up and the bottle. For the base, I have this shallow ceramic dish that's all dirty from polish. I actually got like a set of these and I use them when I'm painting as like a little dish to mix paint. I did this with polish on this one and it just completely ruined it so now I'm going to use it here. So since this is supposed to be a magical ingredient, I decided I wanted to make it look like it was glowing so I'm using lights on this. I glued the battery pack to the bottom and actually I did this upside down. I go back later to flip it over so it's easier for me to access the batteries. I glued the metal to the base. So I definitely could have just glued this thing into the cauldron that I'm going to use for the display, but I kind of liked the idea of this thing being kind of versatile. Like I could put it into any container that could accommodate the ceramic dish, or I could just have it on the table on its own, and then the cauldron is free to use for whatever else I'd want to use it for, putting candy or whatever. Anyway, from there I started wrapping the lights around. First I did a couple rounds in the ceramic dish, and then I worked my way up the metal, leaving a couple inches at the top so that it could be inside of the bottle so that that stuff would look lit up as well. And now for the smoke, but not real smoke. I glued on some filling around the base, trying to make it look like the smoke is landing there and kind of spilling out onto the surface of the table. Then I started working my way up the metal, stretching it to give it some movement. I'm actually using some of that spiderweb stuff that you can get around this time of year, and actually it's supposed to be glow in the dark, so it'll be interesting to see if it actually does. During this process, I had the lights on for most of it so I could see if I needed to cover an area more. I wanted the points of light to be more diffused, which happens whenever there are more layers of filling on it. When I got to the top, I sort of wrapped the rest of the lights around the filling so that it would fit into the bottle. But before putting that in, I added a little bit more stuffing into the bottle. Then I applied hot glue to the end of the metal piece and then I sort of just shoved it in there. I'm not gonna lie, this was kind of a pain in the ass. Getting it right took a lot of repositioning, but finally I got it to stay. <laughs> Thank you. 
I used a crochet hook to sort of fluff out the filling on the inside of the bottle and I tried to arrange it so the lights were kind of hidden within the filling. Getting decent footage here was kind of hard because of how freaking tall this thing was so I'm sorry it's kind of hard to see but I mean once the bottle was in place it was basically done. I just had to bend the metal a little bit to get the bottle to balance just right. But yeah, here it is. I did add a little bit of decorative stuff around the bottleneck. I'm actually planning on going back and adding a little label like I have for my other magical ingredients. And actually if you're hearing this then I'm probably showing footage of me adding the label. I'm recording this audio before I added that. I was brainstorming ideas on what a magical smoky substance would be and my sister's boyfriend suggested witch's wake as in the exhaust from a broom that a witch is riding. I thought that was pretty great, so that's what I did. Here's how it looks on its own, lit up with the lights off in the room. And I found that normally the glow in the dark isn't that great, but I shined my UV nail light onto it just to see how much it would actually start glowing, and man, it lit up. I wish this effect would stay longer than it does because I think it looks so cool. Here's how the whole centerpiece turned out. I added some more filling into the cauldron to make it look more full of smoky goodness. I think it would be even better if I was able to get my hand on some dry ice. Having that spill over the sides of the cauldron would look so cool. Oh well. Maybe that's something I can do later. I absolutely love it. It looks so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. What do you guys think this could be? What kind of magical ingredient is smoky and glowy? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. 